Good morning. I believe you are fine and you are doing great at so you're welcome to today's class. In our previous class, we discussed on gravitation and weightlessness. Gravitation and weightlessness. And we discussed gravitation. We divide gravitation as the force that acts on two masses that are separated towards each other. They are separated by a distance from each other. And this force tries to pull these masses towards each other. Some of the effects of gravitation on objects that we discussed are, number one, anything thrown up will definitely come down. If you throw a ball up, the ball will come down due to the force of gravity. Number two, the Earth is able to rotate around the sun due to the force of gravity. The bucket is able to hold water due to the force of gravity as well. And also, the human being, we are able to stand erect and walk on the ground due to the force of gravity. We also discussed weightlessness, weightlessness, and we defined weightlessness as a condition of having no weight. A condition of having no weight is an imaginary feeling of having no weight. We discussed about the astronauts that travel in the space. When they travel in the space, they experience weightlessness. When the space vehicle moves in a circular motion, at that point, they experience weightlessness. For today's class, we'll be discussing the Earth in space. The Earth in space. From our knowledge of space travel, the astronauts, they were able to discover the ninth planet. And one of the next planet is the Earth, the Earth. That is what we'll be discussing in our lesson for today. The Earth in space, the Earth in space. Now, let's see our learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to, number one, divine Earth, number two, Explain the structure of the Earth. Number three, describe the solar system. Number four, discuss the seasons of the Earth, of the year. Discuss the seasons of the year. And number five, enumerate the seasons in Nigeria. Now, let's discuss the Earth. As I've said earlier, the Earth is one of the nine planets discovered by the astronauts. The Earth is a planet on which man and other living things lives naturally. Where life can be found is the Earth. Where man, plants, and other living things such as the microorganisms, where they live is the Earth. And the Earth revolve around the sun. The astronauts were able to take the pictures of the Earth during space travel from the space crafts. And they confirmed that the Earth is like a ball. The shape of the Earth is like a ball. And the model that is being invented is called the globe. It is this globe that the scientists use to study the position and the places on the Earth. Now let me show you the picture of the globe. This is how the Earth globe looks like, which contains the seven continents. So this is the Earth globe. With this globe, we can study the map of various places on the Earth. I believe you are following me. Good. Now let's move to the structure of the Earth. The structure of the Earth. The Earth is composed of the atmosphere, 
the lithosphere, the hydrosphere, and the biosphere. Now, the atmosphere is the layer that gases can be found on the Earth. Layer that comprises of gases, gases such as the carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, sulfur, hydrogen gas, and so on. So the atmosphere is the layer where gases can be formed on the air, the layer of the air where gases can be formed. We also have the lithosphere. The lithosphere is a solid layer of the air, the solid part of the air that is made up of rock materials. Where rock can be formed on the air is called the lithosphere. We have the hydrosphere. From the word hydro, hydro means water. So a hydrosphere is the layer of water on the air or water surrounding the earth. Also, we have the biosphere. The biosphere is the layer of the earth where life exists, where living things can be found, where plants, animals, and microorganisms can live. That is the biosphere. So these are the composition of the structure of the earth. The atmosphere, the lithosphere, the hydrosphere, and the biosphere. Good. Now let's move to the solar system. The solar system. From the word solar, meaning sun. So the solar system consists of the sun and all the heavenly bodies, all other bodies that can be found in the space in the solar system. And these bodies, they move around the sun. So all the nine planets, they rotate around the sun. The Mercury, is the planet that is closest to the sun, while the Pluto is the planet that is most far away from the sun. Now, let's see the planets. The planets, the planets that make up the solar system in order of their distances from the sun, in order, in order of their distances away from the sun are, number one, Mercury, followed by Venus, number three, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and we have the Pluto. So these are the nine planets. The Mercury, the Venus, the Earth, the Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and the Pluto. Now, let me show you a picture of the planets in the solar system. Now, you can see these are the nine planets solar system. This is the sun. This is Mercury, this is Venus, followed by Earth, followed by Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. You can see the Pluto is the most far away from the sun, while the Mercury is the closest to the sun. It's the closest to the sun. Now, let's move on. Let's see the other bodies of the solar system. So apart from the nine planets, we also have other bodies that are found in the solar system. The comets. We have the comets, the astronauts, and the meteors. Now, the comets, they are rock-like materials in long. That is long with the mass, an irregular mass substance. This comet they vaporize easily and move around the sun. They vaporize easily and they move around the sun. They are rock-like materials. We have the asteroids. The asteroids are between the Mars and Jupiter. And they are believed to come from the remains of shattered planets. Shattered planets. The astronauts, they are, they are believed to come from the remains of shattered planets. Planets that are extinct. Planets that are shattered, that are pulled apart. So they are believed to come from the from the remains of shattered planet, that is the astronauts. Then also we have the meteors. The meteors, they are small lumps of rock and metal shooting through the atmosphere. They are small lumps of rock and metal shooting through the atmosphere. They are called the shooting stars. And sometimes when you look up into the sky at night, they are seen sometimes at night in the sky. I've seen them before. That they, 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 they are, they are like stars, so they are called the shooting stars. I believe you are following me and you are enjoying the class. Now let's move on. 
let's see the seasons of the year the seasons of the year now the seasons we in nigeria we are not familiar with this season we don't normally use this temperate seasons in nigeria but in the outside world in other countries like the uh, uh, usa and the united kingdom they are they are familiar with these seasons and they use it mostly so the, 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 the revolving of the earth about the sun causes these seasons. But one, we have the summer. And the summer, this is the season when the weather is usually warm or hot. It, it is between spring and autumn. We have the spring also. It is the season when plants begin to grow, when vegetation begins to grow. And this season is between winter and summer. We have the winter. It is the coldest season of the year, just like the Amazon season in Nigeria. So it is the coldest season, coldest season of the year, and it is between autumn and spring. We have the autumn. It is the season between the summer and the winter when leaves change their color, when leaves fall. That's why it is called the autumn of the fall or fall, autumn of fall. When the when leaves fall, fall from the social deciduous trees. Trees when you so these are the four main seasons of the year the summer, the spring, the winter, and the autumn. Now let's go home. Let's see the seasons in Nigeria. We have the long rainy season, and this is from March to the end of July, with a peak period in June. That's when we have the long rainy season. As at now in June here now, we have seen that rain is coming continuously. It is raining continuously these days. So this is the long raining season. Season from March to the end of July. A peak in June. Then we have the short dry season. This is experienced in August, about three to four weeks. So in August, we experience the short dry season in Nigeria. We also have the short rainy season, and this is the brief period that follows the August break. So this brief, brief period follows the August break, and it's from early September to mid-October. This is when we experience the short rainy season. And finally, we have the long dry season in Nigeria, and this period starts from late October and lasts to early March. Late October and last to early March. That's when we experience the long dry season in Nigeria. So these are the seasons in Nigeria: the long rainy season, the short dry season, the short rainy season, and the long dry season. With this, we come to the end of the class. We've discussed seasons in of the year. We've discussed the spring, the summer, the autumn, and the and also, we we'll discuss the seasons in Nigeria: the long rainy season, short rainy season, the short dry season, and the long dry season. We we'll discuss the nine planets of the solar system. We we'll also discuss the solar system itself, the structure of the Earth, the composition of the structure of the earth, the atmosphere, the lithosphere, the hydrosphere, and the biosphere. With this, we've come to the end of the class. Please ensure that you read from the uploaded book and on the school website and from your textbook. You see a comprehensive note on the, on, on the school website and from your, your, the recommended textbook for, for you. Thank you, and please ensure that you do all your assignments, read your notes, please. I see the notes is becoming much, so ensure that you start reading. Please ensure you read your notes and do all your assignments. See you in the next class, and please continue to stay safe. Bye.